We have taken a policy decision that we will partner with these groups in the service delivery when it comes to water, sanitation, as I mentioned, AHAR, the affordable food program, as well as the other municipal functions like property tax collection, parking fee collection, even engaging them as security guards in the hospitals. So accordingly, the capacity building of the self-help self groups have been enhanced. We have invested on the capacity building as well as the other stakeholders like municipal functionaries and relevant functionaries of the urban local bodies so that we are able to uh, 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 work out a implementable model. We have also developed the business models. It's not a wage earning opportunity. It's an it's, it's a, it's a end to end responsibility managing the value chain. So we need to have a proper business model prepared for each of these activities. So we have developed a model business plan. We have developed standard operating ops, uh, procedures. We have developed guidelines, protocols. We have standardized the arrangements. The OMs have been standardized. The construction has been standardized. The designs have been standardized. So that the urban local bodies are not taxed or burdened with the responsibility of developing all these things at their end. They don't have that kind of capacity. So at the state level, we have a team which works on this, put their intellectual mind into it and then develop in due consultation with urban local bodies, fine tune it, uh, do a piloting and then uh, refine that model. And then with the, with the required changes, we have scaled up in the entire state, all these models. So we have also developed model contracts so that the urban local bodies will be able to engage the SSGs on a, a, a professional manner. So we have also taken a policy decision that the SSG partnership is a non-negotiable objective. It is not an option. It is not a, uh, the, the urban local bodies have no option of not engaging them. So they have to, ultimately they have to engage. Initially they can run it till the system civilizes. After that, it, they have to hand over that responsibility to the self-help group. So as I said, that community engagement through the self-help groups, it could be women's self-help group, it could be transgender self-help group, or it could be the rack pickers self-help group. But basically the marginalized uh, sections of the society it is not only a means for us, it is an end itself. It is not only the process to achieve, uh, to reach the destination, but the, the, it, is, it is the very objective of the program, empowerment of these vulnerable groups. And we have progressively moved towards non-conventional, skilled, involving the managerial, financial, and technical capabilities. So as I said that our objective is not only to enhance the income of the family, but also to overall building a professional competencies of the partners, the self-help groups, so that they get a sense of pride, accomplishment, and dignity. They also get a social recognition in that process. And in that, to, to ensure that, we have taken up a, a kind of, you know, massive sensitization and orientation of various functionaries, elected functionaries, officials, the, uh, the other associated partners working with urban local bodies, so that they, are, they, they, they develop a mutual respect for these self-help groups. That's the basic, you know, prem premises in which the partnership can work. The, the, both the partners should have equal respect for each other and they should find a value in each other. So that, to, so that we are able to create an enabling culture, enabling ambience and ecosystem. Mm -hmm.